Hello, hello everyone and welcome to a new, new lesson. Do you know that there are four future tenses in English? If you don't, don't worry. Today we are going to start learning future simple tense and we will begin with simple tense. So today we are going to learn how to form future simple tense and when we should use it. Let's start. So we use future simple tense when we are going to express our beliefs about the future. We use future simple when we make or take office on promises. We use future simple when we talk about our plans or intentions in the future. And finally, we are using future simple when we are making predictions based on evidence. As in all tenses, there are some words and phrases that help us to know which tense we should use. So for the future simple, they will be tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, or next weekend, or in two days, in a week, in a month. When we are going to form future tense, we should keep in mind that there are two different ways to form future simple tense. The first one is the easiest one. We just need to take auxiliary verb will and use it in the sentence. So to make a positive sentence we should put subject first, will and then the action verb. For example, I will go, you will go, he will go, she will go, it will go, we will go, and they will go. As we tend to shorten everything, so in this case, will, in most of the cases, will be used like all, all like double L, nothing else. So, I'll go, I'll go. As you can hear, I don't say I will go. I say I'll go, I'll go. Try it with me. I'll go, I'll go, you'll go, you'll go. Good. Let's move on. To make a negative sentence, we should use the auxiliary verb will plus the particle not. And in most of the cases, we will use the short form of it, which will be won't, won't, won't. I won't go, I won't go, <clears throat> you won't go, you won't go, he won't go, she won't go, it won't go. We won't go, and they won't go. To make a question, it's very easy as well. We just need to move the auxiliary verb will at the beginning of the sentence. So it will be a will, subject, plus verb. Let's try it. Will I go? Will you go? Will he go? Will she go? Will it go? Will we go? Will they go? Excellent, let's move on. As I told you before, we have two ways to form future simple tense. The first way we saw is using the auxiliary verb will, and the second one is a little bit complicated, but it's not so difficult at all. So when we're talking about plans or our intention or about something planned in the future, we should use the structure to be going to. To be going to. And the verb to be will be in present. So it will be am, is, or are dependent on the subject. Let's look at the example. Example of positive sentences. I am going to do. He is going to do it. She is going to do it. It's going to do it. You are going to do it. We are going to do it and they are going to do it. To make a negative sentence using this structure, we just need to add the particle not. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. He isn't going to do it. She isn't going to do it. It isn't going to do it. You aren't going to do it. We aren't going to do it and they aren't going to do it. As you can hear, I use just short forms. Isn't, aren't, he isn't, she isn't, it isn't, you aren't, 
we aren't they aren't which you will use normally in the speaking language and to make questions we should move the verb to be at the beginning of the sentence put subject and then they put the rest of the structure for example am i going to do it am i going to do it is he going to do it is she going to do it is it going to do it are you going to do it are we going to do it are they going to do it excellent let's move on and now let's have a look at some example when we'll see when we should use will and when we should use to be going to number one when we talk about making or taking offers or promises we should use will i will see you tomorrow or number two we will send you email probably somebody called you made an order and oh don't worry to confirm your order we will send you email so in this case you're promising someone to send an email and number three mary will help me with cooking mary will help me with the cooking so mary came to me and said oh i will help you with the cooking mary offered me her help and i said oh yeah mary will help me with the cooking let's move on number two we use future symbol when we express our beliefs about the future in this case again we should use will to form future simple tense it will be a sunny day tomorrow because it's sunny today there is no wind there is no cloud so we'll say oh it will be sunny day tomorrow so we believe that it will be a sunny day tomorrow number two i'm sure you will enjoy the film i'm sure you will enjoy the film so probably you're going to the cinema and i already watched this film and i loved it so i'm sure i believe that you will enjoy the film that's why we use will here number three i think that germany will win the world cup i think it's my opinion it's my belief again that germany probably germany team was playing so good in this season that i think that germany will win the world cup let's move on number three in this case we're talking about our plans and intentions that's why we should use more complex structure to form future simple as it to be going to they are going to move to london next year so they are planning to move to london next year it's not just they have decided to do something they are planning they were thinking about it and they are planning to move to london so they are going to move to london next year we are going to the cinema next weekend so again this is our intention this is something that we are planning to do that's why here we are using the more complex structure which is to be going to we are going to go to the cinema next weekend let's move on number four when we make prediction based on evidence oh look at those black clouds it's going to be rain so as we see a lot of clouds and they are so black and dark and we say oh it will be raining i think it's going to be rain so this is our predictions based on evidence because we see black clouds and we imagine when there are black clouds it always rains so in this case we're using again this structure to be going to look at those black clouds i think it's going to rain number two oh be careful you are going to fall so as we can see these three people they're crossing the i think the most dangerous bridge in the world and we say that oh be careful you are going to fall because as we see that the bridge is not safe at all so we can make prediction that if they don't be careful they might fall so that's why in this case we're using to be going to you are going to fall excellent let's have some practice peter feels bad he will stay in bed today so obviously peter has woken up and he thought, oh, I'm not feeling good today. I will stay in bed. So it is his decision, instant decision. It's not something that he was planning to do. So Peter feels bad, that's why he will stay in bed. Let's make a negative sentence. P 
Peter won't stand bad because he feels bad. And a question. Will Peter stand bad because he feels bad? Will Peter stand bad because he feels bad? Excellent, let's move on. Oh, look at this baby. Look at the baby, he's going to cry. Look at his face, he's going to cry. So here, this is something, it's our, we're making predictions. Looking at the face of the baby, we can see that he's planning to cry. So look at the baby, he's going to cry. To make a negative questions, we should say, he isn't going to cry. No, he isn't going to cry. Is he going to cry? Look at his face. Is he going to cry? Good, let's move on. Let's have some more practice. Carla will help you to wash dishes. Carla will help you to wash dishes. What about negative sentence? No, Carla won't help you to wash dishes. Carla won't help you to wash dishes. What about question? Can you make a question? Excellent. Will Carla help you to wash dishes? Will Carla help you to wash dishes? Excellent. Let's move on. Here we've got our last bit when we're going to practice our future simple tense in mini dialogues. Let's start. Dialogue number one. Repeat after me. Hi, Mary. How are you? What are you going to do next weekend? Hi, I'm going to go to the cinema. Will you come with me? Oh, that's a great idea! I think I'll go with you with pleasure! Excellent! See you later! Shall we try again? Let's try again! I will read a blue bit and you will read a green one. Okay, let's start! Hi Mary, how are you? What are you going to do next weekend? Oh, that's a great idea! I think I will go with pleasure! Excellent! Good job! Let's move to the second dialogue. First I'll read the whole dialogue and then I will read green and you will read blue. Let's start! Hi! Can I speak to Sam, please? Hi, sorry, I can't talk to you now. Will you call me back later? Yes, of course I will. Bye! Let's try again. I will say green part and you will see blue part. Let's start. Hi, can I speak to Sam, please? Yes, of course I will. Bye! Excellent, good job! I hope this video was useful for you and if you want to keep on learning and having fun with us, click like if you like the video click dislike if you didn't like it and put in the comments what topic do you want me to talk about next time. See you next time. Bye bye for now.